Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> Your girl is looking real rough and raggedy. <laughs> Listen, if y'all want to see me look a little bit better than right now, <laughs> then stay tuned. Um, I'm moving on to another video. But I just wanted to say, watch this. We're starting off with a mask today, y'all, with the Sue New York Unicorn, Unicorn <laughs> Glow Hologram Mask. And I'm just going to rub the excess into my skin. And then we're going to start with the Brow Child Crayon Case Pencil in the color Bare, Crayon Case Concealer in the number 15. And we're just going to clean these brows up and keep it pushing. When I come back, y'all gonna see these brows, baby, blended. Then we gonna go in with the Get Covered Femme Couture and get that from Sally Beauty. And I'm gonna cover my entire lid with this. This is gonna be my eyeshadow base. I'm gonna blend it out and I'm gonna come back to y'all. Ooh, child, here come the fun stuff. So this is the MacBook Crayon Case Palette. I'm gonna use that medium blue to just blend, it, blend in my corners. And then we're gonna go on to the next color, child. Next color, I'm gonna use that medium green. And I'm gonna soften up the inner corners of my lids. All right, now we're gonna do the final color. This is gonna be a slight cut crease. And I'm just gonna use that same film couture and just to cut the inner corners of my lids. And I'm gonna use that, that golden yellow color. All right, lastly, I'm gonna go in with that deep blue and I'm just gonna pat it around the sides, bring it into my inner corners a little bit and down to the bottom to my under eye. After this, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my lashes on and then we done with the eyes. Using the crayon case number 15 concealer, I'm gonna go into my T-zone um, and under my contour lines. Next up, crayon case number 20. I'm gonna use that for my contour. It is a kind of a light contour, but I do a powder contour a little bit later, so it doesn't have to be super dark. I don't like to start with a super dark liquid contour just because it just seems like I'm too chiseled. So this one is a little more subtle, and then I can um, deepen it with a powder. So lastly, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation in the number 300 to just like go around everywhere that there is no contour or highlight. Then I'm going to blend it all in and I'll be back with y'all in a minute. Thank you. 
Next up, we're doing the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the color Naturally Neutral. And I'm just going to put that on the bottom portion of my face. And then I'm going to top it with the I Am Magic Setting Powder in the shade Gobi. And that's my Juvia's Place. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face um, with Juvia's Place and I'm going to move on. <music> colors in this palette the last two browns and I'm just gonna use it as my contour color look at that look at how that go on see how you can just manipulate the way your contour comes out if you use a powder versus trying to manipulate it with a liquid I'm trying to tell y'all look hi to hi tour <laughs> highlight and blush was applied off camera and I'm gonna just switch out my lipstick really quickly. First, I'm gonna go in with the lip pencil coffee, just line my lips, and then I'm gonna use the concealer number 15 again, and I'm just gonna blend that into my lips really good. And then for a finale, I'm gonna use the crayon case lip gloss in the color private party. And this look is complete, y'all. I'll be right back so y'all can see my whole outfit and things. Thank you. 